Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to run Hello World program in Apex. In this video, we will see different features of Apex programming language. Apex programming language is developed by Salesforce and it is used to add new functionality in our org. Now, we will see different features. First feature, Apex language has Java-like syntax. Most of the syntax of Apex language are similar to Java programming language. Apex is object oriented programming language. Now, what is the meaning of this? If you are from non programming background, then in short, I will tell what do you mean by object oriented programming language? So, see, to make programming more realistic, more interesting, programming is linked, it is related with objects. Now, see, one simple example I will give fan, right? So, fan we know. So, fan has some attributes, right? For example, see, it has speed. It has color, right? It requires some voltage, right? These are the parameters related to fan, right? What operations we can perform on this fan? We can switch on, right? We can switch off. We can increase speed. We can increase speed, right? We can decrease speed, right? All these operations we can perform on this fan, right? So these are the variables or attributes, and these are the functions which we can perform on this fan, right? So see, these variables are attributes, attributes or variables plus what are the functions that we can perform on these variables, right? These variables are combined together, and that is called a class. Now see. So fan, it become a class, right? Fan is a class. Now see, in my classroom, suppose there are six fans. Now what is the meaning of this? See, fan is a class. I have six fans, suppose, right? F1, F2, F3, something like this, right? There are six fans. Now every fan will have its own speed. It has its own color. It requires its own voltage, right? So for every fan, these attributes will be different, right? So these are the different objects. Suppose in my classroom, there are six fans. So there, that means there are six fan objects right and they are defined by the fan class right so in this way to make programming more realistic more interesting we have object oriented programming right and apex is object oriented programming language so in our upcoming video we will see how to write object oriented code in apex now see apex is strongly typed language apex is strongly typed language now what is the meaning of strongly typed language See, programming languages which has strict restriction over the types of values and variables. Now, what is the meaning of this? See, in short, I will tell. We know integer data type and decimal data type, right? For example, 3, that is an integer value. 3.2, it is a decimal value, right? So, I cannot allocate decimal value to the integer data type. That is called as the one restriction. One restriction we are putting on the variable. And if languages following such kind of restriction, those are called as strongly typed language. Programming languages which has strict restrictions over the types of values and variables are called as strongly typed language. Now, see if any time, any time means during variable assignment, function call, function returning value, parameter passing to function. In this case, if there is any mismatch between the data types, means say suppose return type is int, but you are returning character. This is mismatch, right? So, in that case, we may get error or exception. So, our Java, Ruby, Smalltalk, Python, C, C++, all these are strongly typed language. Now, see, you may ask, uh, see, there is an implicit or explicit typecasting in C++ and Java language, right? This typecasting makes C++ and Java language somewhat weak, but they are strongly typed language. But because of this feature, it becomes somewhat weak. Now, see. And other hand, what do you mean by weakly type language? So opposite to strongly type language. That means weakly type language. So it has loser typing rules and may produce unpredictable or even erroneous result or may perform implicit type conversion at runtime. Okay, so you can uh, perform operations on the variables or values of different data types. You can do that. Those are called as weakly type language. Example are JavaScript and Perl. Now see, we know Java and Python are strongly typed language right so in java language types are associated with the variable in python types are associated with the value see here we have mentioned types of values are variables right java is strongly typed language so in java type is associated with the variables python is also strongly typed language 
but in python types are associated with the value in java we get typing errors at compile time right and in python and ruby we get typing errors at runtime if there is a type mismatch so at that time we may get error at compile time in java language and in python and ruby we'll get typing mismatch error at runtime so we are talking about strongly typed language and weakly typed language but our apex is strongly typed language keep in mind apex is strongly typed language now see next feature we'll see apex is a proprietary language developed by salesforce right so already we have seen it is developed by the salesforce and its code run on force.com platform so whatever the code that we write in apex programming language those are run we are running it on cloud only right and we are running it on salesforce force.com platform this force.com platform is owned by the salesforce and we are running this program on this platform apex is compiled language now what is the meaning of this see there are two things one is compiled language and another is interpreted language compiled language in the sense see suppose if you are writing program and in that program there are 20 lines so in compiled language what happens all the 20 lines are compiled they are converted to the low level language code and afterwards it gets run but in interpreted language line by line we are getting the result line by line it gets executed that is called as interpreted language apex is compiled language see c++ is compiled language python is interpreted language java is compiled and interpreted both apex is compiled language now see next feature apex is upgraded automatically now what is the meaning of this see uh, we have different versions of java right we have java 7 we have java 8 we have java 9 suppose if i have installed java 7 right so that means java 7 is installed on my system right but afterwards suppose java has another version new versions java 8 java 9 so see java 7 is installed in our system so still we are using java 7 only though java may have higher version new version right but that is not the case with the apex apex we are running apex code on cloud right on force.com platform and there apex version is upgraded automatically we don't have to upgrade it it get upgraded automatically apex is integrated with the database now what is the meaning of this see in java language we perform database operations right but in java what we have to do we have to create connection right then we have to use some drivers type 1 type 2 type 3 drivers after creating connection we have to create object of result set and by using the result set object we are performing some operations right so this procedure we have to follow but apex is already integrated with the database we don't have to do connection with the database it is already integrated with the database in the sense see in apex language if you write any query in between this square bracket it get executed and we get the result we don't have to do connection with the database that is the meaning of apex is integrated with the database next feature we'll see apex is easy to test it has its own testing platform now see in upcoming video we'll see how to test apex application now see apex has its own testing platform we don't have to take help of third party application apex language has its own testing platform and by using the testing platform we can test the application next feature apex has multi tenant environment now what is the meaning of this to understand this i will give one example consider a hostel now see in hostel there are many students and these students are staying in different rooms right every student has his own room right but in this hostel there are some common facilities like wi-fi right wi-fi is a common facility then canteen this is a common facility right so students they are staying in different rooms but there are some common facilities like wi-fi canteen now see suppose if it's in wi-fi speed so suppose for 100 mbps we have made it 200 mbps we have changed the internet speed data transfer speed so see this change in wi-fi is applicable to all the students right if it's in menus in canteen so this change will be applicable to the, all the students right this is called as multi-tenant environment now see in cell phone there are many orgs right and these orgs they are sharing common resources these orgs are sharing some common resources see uh, there is one thing that is called as a governor limit governor limit now what is the meaning of this see in our example of hostel there are some restrictions over the student right they cannot break the wall they cannot use iron some restrictions are there right 
in the same way there are many hours they are sharing common resources in cell phones right so there are some restrictions over these hours and these restrictions are called as governor limit in our upcoming videos we will see what is the meaning of governor limit so in this way apex programming language work in multi tenant environment next feature apex code is saved with its version now what is the meaning of this suppose currently we are using version 40 right and suppose some code we have written right now previously we have seen apex is upgraded automatically so suppose apex got upgraded to version 41 but already we have written some programs with version 40 now what will happen with the programs because see we have used apex version 40 but now apex got upgraded automatically to version 41 now what will happen to those programs those we have written with the old version so in apex what happens apex code is saved with its version means our program is saved along with its version so see though new version is 41 but our apex code what are the code we have written with apex version 40 so that program will get run with version 40 only whatever the new code that we will write so that code will get run with the newer version 41 so this is the meaning of apex code is saved with its version now see most important apex is case insensitive language now what is the meaning of this now see in previous video we have seen to print something on the screen we have to use this syntax right and in single code we write something suppose hello what now see suppose if i write is yes, small still will get the same output if i write is yes, capital still i will get the same output if if i make this t capital still i will get the same output and it will run without any error that is the meaning of case insensitive language means capital letters and small letter both carry the same meaning they don't have any differences that is the meaning of apex is case insensitive language so these are the different features of apex programming language so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you